Okay, so Harmony Corinne is a very interesting filmmaker. Back in the 90s he made movies like Julie and Donkey Boy and Gummo. Now I haven't seen either of those, but especially Gummo looks bizarre. Like one of the weirdest movies I've ever come across. And to be honest, a little bit too weird for me, which is why I haven't actually seen it. But I have seen one of his movies before, which is his previous one. Spring Breakers, which was also strange, but not that strange. And it did have some good stuff in it too, although as a whole I didn't really care for it. So needless to say I was kinda curious about this one, but didn't expect much from it. And well it pretty much delivered exactly that, some cool ideas with sort of a strange story. But overall I didn't care that much for it. Now this one stars Matthew McConaughey as the titular beach bum. He plays some sort of artist, writer, poet guy who's kinda just drifting. Living life in the Florida Keys, drinking, smoking weed, having fun. But in the beginning it's not exactly clear how he's financing this. But it becomes clear soon enough and that's when the actual narrative kicks in. And I use the term narrative very loosely here because the story is kinda, well fluid I guess you could say. There's not a very strict plot in this. It's almost like they had a beginning and an end in mind and a few bits in between. And then just sorta improvised the rest and that's what the movie feels like. Very loose and fluid and I guess the core story sort of works, but not really. It's basically about this guy who's been kinda coasting for a while, but then something happens and he's suddenly motivated to get his act together. And that's a good enough premise, a good enough idea to work with. But the way this thing comes together was just not very satisfying to me. Mainly because of the main character who as I said just more or less drifts. He just goes with the flow from one situation to the next. And somehow things always seem to work out. No matter what. Even when terrible things happen he just sort of takes them in stride. And then miraculously without pretty much any effort on his part things just work out. And maybe the most frustrating part of this was the ending. It honestly didn't make very much sense. Because there's pretty much only one thing this guy actually does in the entire movie. For once he's actually motivated to do something. And he does it. And when he finally does it he basically just throws it away. Which could have worked, it absolutely could have if it made sense for the character. And on the one hand it does, because it's sorta of unpredictable and a bit of a chaotic force. But on the other hand it really didn't, because it seems like there's only really one thing he wants out of life. He wants to drift and party and have fun. Basically lead an unconstrained free life. Which he could do, but instead he chooses not to because... I don't know exactly why. Like, he's achieved the only thing he seems to truly want out of life. The freedom to do whatever he wants and not to worry about a thing ever again. Which seems to be his only true motivation in life. That's the whole character, he loves to live life as a drifter with no obligations. And here he is at the end of the movie having finally actually done something for a change. But instead of doing the one thing he seems to want to do, he chooses not to and that doesn't really make any sense. Is he just too chaotic and unpredictable for his own good? Is that the point here? I don't know, but that's the only thing that seems to make any sense. And at the end of the day nothing's really changed, except he's actually worse off now. He starts the movie living the life he wants to live, happy and perfectly content. And along the way he doesn't actually gain anything positive. In fact he just loses things of value to him. And at the end of the movie he's actually worse off in pretty much every way. But for some reason he seems to be just as happy and careless as in the beginning. There's no change in the character whatsoever. Because I guess nothing matters and whatever happens, happens. Everything's always gonna work out in his favor, even if he actively sabotages his own life. And works against his own goals. Things will be just fine and he'll just go on being happy. I don't know, but that doesn't really make any sense to me, and it's not a very satisfying character arc. And yeah, for that reason I didn't really care for this movie at all. I mean it's well acted, it looks fine, it's a competent movie. But the story and the protagonist are just kind of frustrating to be honest. So would I recommend it? Eh, not really. There are much better movies to watch. So you can probably skip it. Or don't, I'm not your beach bum dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to buy myself a mansion in Miami. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it, thanks.